Do you believe that I produce this beautiful bar soap without an hydrometer using the cold method? Do you believe that I produce this bar soap using the same amount of oil and liquid? Yes, using the cold method. My life solution to oil ratio is actually one to one. Interesting, right? Do you also believe that I unmolded this bar soap just two hours after production? You're doubting me. Are you? Okay, that is exactly what I'll be showing you in this video. I just want to bust your bubble and let you know that you can be creative and just do whatever thing you like with your bar soap and come up with something great. I will show you. So come with me. Let me show you how I produce this beautiful bar soap. Okay, we started from here. I'm trying to make my life solution. So I've added one liter of water into my bowl. I actually made my lye solution using 1.5 liters of water and 500 grams of lye. Here, here it goes, 500 ml. <coughs> so I'm pouring in my lye. Don't mind me, I'm having cough, but I just have to do this video for you. So I've added 500 grams of my caustic soda crystal to my 1.5 liters of water. And I'll be adding 75 grams of soda ash. 75 grams of soda ash, just 10% of my water. I just want you to see that you can actually make your soap without adding all those things you add. You can make your soap with just your caustic soda and oil. But because I want our soap to lather when we're using it with hard water, that's why I added my soda ash. So I'll leave it for 24 hours to ferment. And here it is after 24 hours so that's my light solution that's my pko 1.5 liters and also my fragrance and my molds so come with me let's jump right into the production process so i've put in one liter of pko i'm using 1.5 liters of my light solution this is 500 ml I've added one one liter before and then I added another five half liter which is 500 ml so I will stir my soap but I noticed that it formed a very thick trace immediately I made a video where I showed you how to check for your PKO this type of PKO that forms a thick trace immediately you point is actually made is a factory made PKO, not the locally one. I'll link the video where I showed you how to test your PKO in the description. Just check for it. And I also noticed that water is settling down in my soap. But with experience, I knew that this soap needs more stirring. So quickly, I had to change my stirring rod. I had to use a whisk and kept my stirring rod. And I had to miss. But I also noticed that the space it needs space to. It needs a bigger space to stir, so I have to pour it into a bigger bowl so that it will enable me to stir it very well. Yeah, this is where experience comes in. I have produced and sold bar soap for 10 whole years, so I know when my soap is going bad and how to correct it. So here comes my calcium. I added just 75 grams of my calcium and also the calcium here is very optional you can actually do without it and your soap will still come out strong all those things you add to your soap they are very optional like i always tell my students anything that will not increase the volume of my soap nor the appearance i don't add because you're introducing cost into your soap and at the end of the day your cost of production will be high here i'm adding my fragrance don't mind the settlement in my fragrance is the last part of the fragrance I bought in the drum. So I'll continue stirring very, very well. You can notice that the water has disappeared completely. Yeah. So I'll stir until my butter is well mixed. If this is your first time on my channel, I'm saying thank you so much for stopping by. Please do well to subscribe, like, and share my video. I share values here weekly, and you'll be glad you did. I'm trying to experiment something. I love to be creative with my soap, so I've scooped out a bit. You'll see what I'll do with it. And I'm adding my color. Yeah, not just color, my sugar syrup. Did you watch the last video I did on how to produce your homemade sugar syrup? Yes, this is the sugar syrup we produce. I just wanted my soap to have that light brown color. That is why I'm adding this sugar soap. So it will be acting as our color here. 
Also note that sugar can also boost the formidability of your soap. Do you know that? You have known that today. So, when you're having challenge with ha getting very good brand color, you can actually make this sugar syrup for yourself at home and use it as your brand color. You can add more to it if you want that deep brown color for your soap. But me, I wanted the very light brown. That's why I added just a little bit. So, our soap is almost ready. So, here we have our soap ready to go into our mold. If this is your first time on my channel, I say thank you so much for stopping by. Please do well to subscribe to my channel. You always get value here. I'm pouring it into my mold. You can see it is thick. One thing I would have done here is to heat it up a bit so that it's to loosen it up. But I wanted this to be a completely cold process. I just want to show you that you can actually make profit from your soap, from your cold process soap. That's why I decided against heating it up. But if you want to have a loose butter, you can just heat it up a bit. It will be light so that you can pour it into your mold um, easily. But here I decided against that. I've poured it in. And also I wanted to make two color soap. Though my butter is thick, but I still did like at least I'm giving you an idea. You can do it better. If my PKO was the local one, it I wouldn't have achieved this thick trace immediately. If you are done, if you do it with the locally produced PKO, you get a better result because you your butter will be light, it will be loose. But here I achieved a very thick trace. Almost immediately I poured in my oil. But we are good to go. Experience has come to play, and we have we are we are going to achieve our uh, goal. So just hold on and see what the outcome of this beautiful soap will be. Don't worry, I'll be leaving the quantity and the items I used in the description. I'll be listing them in the description. So just check the description of this video. You will see the the chemicals I used and their quantity. And I'll also be linking the video where I showed you how to make your homemade sugar syrup and also other videos that will interest you just check the description so you see them here comes our soap this is two hours after you wouldn't believe that just two hours after and our soap is as strong as a rock i know you are no longer doubting me at least you've seen me do it you've seen me show you through the process i did not show you just the end i took you through the process yes the soap is as strong as it was just two hours after production. And they are so beautiful. Because our uh, brown soap is light, the white I tried to mix did not was not Look at our smaller so beautiful. Are they not beautiful? Yes, they are indeed very beautiful. See how beautiful our soaps are. Let me know in the comment section. Will you be trying this at home? Have I cleared your doubt that you can actually make profit from your cold process soap? Did you see how much soap we will get? You see how much soap we are going to get from just 1.5 liters of oil. I used same amount of liquid as same amount of oil. I am sure I've cleared your doubt. You see me on mold, the bigger mold, and you see how beautiful that soap will come out. <laughs> Here we go. Da -da. Wow. See, beautiful. Even though we poured into our mold at six trays, we still achieve this smoothness. Do you see? Experience is indeed great when it comes to anything you're doing in life that is why i'd rather go for someone that has experience and someone that has the theory see our beautiful soap see how beautiful our soap is if you know you'll be experiencing this at home just let me know in the comment section or you'll be trying this formulation just try it out and let me know how it came out you can send me a whatsapp message on the number showing on the screen and if you know you want to be part of my page training, you can also send me a WhatsApp message saying I am interested in your page training with the number on the screen. And I'll teach you everything you need to know about making profit from your bath soap, producing your bath soap in commercial standard. See our beautiful soap. 
All you need to do is just leave this soap for a few days or weeks to cure and our soap is good for use. I hope I've added value to you today. I hope I've cleared a lot of your doubts. I hope I've showed you that you can actually make profit using your cold method in your soap business. If I did added value, please hit the like button and please like this video. Please like so that YouTube shows it to more persons that need to see it. That is the only way you can say thank you for giving out this value for free. And also share to those that will need it so that they will thank you for it. And if you've not subscribed to my channel, please do well to, to subscribe so that, so that you'll be getting value on this channel. Because I upload valuable videos weekly. Thank you for stopping by and I'm so sure that you are subscribed by now.